Hey everybody, welcome back to Brailsford's Rides. I'm Matt, we've got a super exciting video today. I was able to acquire one of the two rarest boss mods that are on the market, or off the market as I should say. So smash that like button, subscribe, and let's get into it. Okay guys, so I rarely buy modifications for my car. A lot of the reason is because I got, you know, family, uh, kids, um, you know, I gotta, gotta, gotta take care of the family first, always first. Uh, so whenever I buy a mod, it's gotta be something very important to me, something that I think will really stand out and uh, it, it's, that's some, it's gotta either be really cool or very unique. And I was recently given the opportunity to buy one of the rarest mods for the Boss 302. Uh, before we get to that though, I'm going to go ahead and show you my current setup, so we're going to go ahead and pop the hood. Alright. Yeah, that's going to have to come off. You'll see why here in a second. Alright, so. My current setup, I don't know how well the camera's lit under here. Let's see, it's hard to see, so let's get some light. Boom. All right, so here we got a lot of nice dress-up parts in this engine bay. It looks really clean, right? Uh, you know, we got the the uh, the, the uh, fuse box cover, Boss 302. Got a set of the before they went out, they stopped doing it. The JLT covers, all right. Got the nice chrome caps, JLT uh, oil separator. You know, some true fiber carbon co cover here, and uh, you know, some nice uh, custom Pony One strut covers, right? Real nice, all right? Now, the other thing I'm rocking is I got this uh, radiator cover, painted race red from American Muscle, and then I'm rocking the Roush cold air intake on the stock tube, because it looks like it could be stock. Now, this is going away, because I was able to acquire this. Let's see. Boom. Now, you're a boss owner you probably know what this is if you've been if you haven't if you had your boss for a while I was able to get the carbon fiber Parnelli Jones edition cold air intake anyone who has done their research or watched if you own, a, own the boss and you've watched the uh, DVD you know who Parnelli Jones is Parnelli Jones was a famous racing driver who in 1960s, you know, he was the first driver who ever uh, broke, qualified for Indianapolis 500 at 150 miles an hour. But he's also really famous in the Ford community for the Trans Am Series races, uh, where he basically brought the Manufacturer's Championship to Ford. Uh, so it's a big deal. Uh, he was a big part of, um, of the development for the Boss 302. Uh, if you go and you can find on YouTube, I believe it's like uh, the Boss is Back. Uh, it's, it's the DVD on YouTube. You can kind of see where he played in. Uh, you know, he was at the development when they took the car, the uh, prototypes to Laguna Seca. He got to run the car, give him his input. You know, it's pretty neat. So this is a big deal to me. I've always wanted this one, and I think that this carbon is going to look super good next to my uh, radiator cap. And uh, it's just it's going to finish my engine bay, and it'll give me everything I want except for maybe a. Uh, <laughs> A painted strut cover maybe we'll do that race red or gloss black or satin black not sure sure yet and then I'll probably get a new set of um, of uh, strut tower covers from custom pony one and uh, probably something with black and red on it so that way it kind of fits in with everything else but yeah let's go ahead and get this thing on the car and see how it looks and, uh, I'll probably be selling the Roush intake or uh, I might just hold on to it. I'm not certain yet uh, it's not in the best shape either so I would probably only get a get like 70 bucks for it or something, but we'll go and get this thing off.
got the Parnelli Jones cold air intake on the car. In my opinion, it is the by far the nicest cold air intake available for the Boss 302. Um, I'm very excited to have found one, and I appreciate uh, the guy who sold it to me. I know he's, he might be watching this. Um, but yeah, so that thing looks great. Uh, next thing we're going to do is probably get some oil pump gears, have them saved aside, and uh, eventually tackle the headers. And once we've done that, we can remove the insert uh, inside of here and go ahead and actually tune this thing. Uh, I do have an insert inside of the Parnelli Jones intake uh, so I can continue to run my stock tune until I'm ready. Uh, but man, it, gosh, does it really set off that engine bay? That thing just looks super nice. Then fight at home But if you wanna travel Then go alone Yeah, what's the point in us If I never know Yeah, if you're gonna leave I'ma let you go Alright guys, thanks again for tuning in To Brailsford's Rides uh, Love the Parnelli Jones intake the Next thing we gotta find one day Is a set of kook side pipes But in the meantime We got the resonator lists The Resonator delete side pipes. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, click this video and it'll take you there. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it looks great, guys. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time on Brailsford Rides.